This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We left off yesterday talking about what it means to ask questions, not with an agenda, but in hopes of clarity and seeing the world as it is. How clarity is itself what Victoria Safford calls a sacred practice. As a sacred practice, this is the work of discernment. A few weeks ago in worship, we heard the words of Frederick Douglass reflecting 150 years ago on the 4th of July, and he said this, at a time like this, scorching irony, not convincing argument is needed. Oh, had I the ability and could reach the nation's ear, I would today pour out a fiery stream of biting ridicule, blasting reproach, withering sarcasm, and stern rebuke. For it is not light that is needed, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. The feeling of the nation must be quickened. The conscience of the nation must be roused. The propriety of the nation must be startled. The hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed, and its crimes against God and man must be proclaimed and denounced. Storm, fire, and earthquake, it's an evocative image, and one that, that Frederick Douglass was not picking at random. There's a story in scripture of the prophet Elijah in 1 Kings, and Elijah has worked to change his society before fleeing to the wilderness in fear for his life in the story. Go out, the story goes, God tells Elijah, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord. And there was the Lord passing by, the story goes, a tremendous mighty windstorm was tearing at the mountains and breaking the rocks in pieces in the presence of the Lord, but the Lord was not in the windstorm. After the wind there came an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there came fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire there was the sound of a gentle whisper. As soon as Elijah heard it, he covered his face in his mantle, went outside, and stood at the entrance to the cave. And there a voice spoke to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? Storm, earthquake, whirlwind, these are the times that we are in. And for me, God is present in the still, small voice, what, what this translation calls the gentle whisper. That doesn't mean that God is not also related to the storm and the earthquake and the whirlwind. But the place of discerning, the place of hearing what is meant for our lives and hearing what our place is in these tumultuous times requires listening on purpose because hearing that gentle whisper in moments of earthquake, whirlwind, and yes, pandemic is hard. My friend and colleague, the Reverend Catherine Clarenbach, is a minister in Portland who's ministry is in accompanying folks on their spiritual journeys, and helping people make hard choices, what we might call discernment or listening to the still small voice. Catherine and I went to seminary together and there's a video on this YouTube channel of an interview I did with her a few months ago. But tomorrow evening, she's hosting a free webinar on the qualities of desire as an introduction to her broader work in discernment. It's at 5.30 Pacific time, which is 7.30 here in Nebraska, and a link to the webinar is in the description of this video. So we all have moments in the whirlwind, and sometimes, as Douglas reminds us, the whirlwind is necessary. But it is in those moments that it is most important to ground ourselves and see the world and our place in it clearly to hear the still small voice asking, what are you doing here? See you tomorrow.